Hey, what's up, my webful friends? Flowman here. I just wanted to kind of give some quick little impressions on the mass uh, CSS framework here for Webflow. Uh, there's been, or I kind of been seeing quite a bit of chatter over on Twitter lately about using C or using mass, how to use it effectively. Um, and I thought maybe it'd just be good to start with um, just some initial impressions of what mass is and then just show you a quick little comparison video. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna I'm run through the entire mass documentation here. Um, no code supply company has this great documentation here. So if you're if you don't know about mass yet, come check it out. The the docs are quite elaborate and have all the information you need to get going. But basically, what it is. Um, so it's a developer first CSS framework for Webflow, um, pretty much kind of based off of uh, what's called Bootstrap, which was which is just a CSS framework in general. But what it is is basically just being able to take this twelve column grid layout system and adapt it to any of your designs you need to build. Um, and Mast is is all about just keeping things clean and simple. Um, I don't know if it's down here or not, but they have uh, what to refer to mass as the 80-20 rule. So 80% of everything you need to build a website is already in mass with existing class names, while the rest 20% of most of your projects are going to call upon you and your expertise to flush out the project what you need. So like any kind of framework in Webflow, it's not a strict guideline of rules to follow, you know, not everything fits into a class that exists already, but everything that is there already will get you like mass says at, at least at 80% of the way through. Um, so do yourself a favor, go through the guides. Um, it's kind of a lot of information to take in, but uh, I have heard people will take the documentation, feed it into chat GPT, have it explain it to you. Um, as with anything though, it just takes time to learn, right? So put the time in, check it out. Um, so let me just jump over into Webflow here. So what I have to just kind of do a little comparison, I have a, a clean uh, clone of the MAST framework style guide here. Um, but what I've done is I just went ahead and dropped in a Rayloom component. Um, first of all, I'm a big fan of Rayloom and client first from Twin Suite, Fin Suite. I think obviously they're great. I still use them on projects too, depending on which project it is. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Uh, client first is still a great CSS or great framework in Webflow to use. So, um, but I just think Mask, Mask does it in a way that's gonna make things a little bit simpler and kind of easier to scale. So just as a little comparison here, I've dropped in this uh, section header one from Rayloom, the component, and just kind of opened everything up here so we can see what's there. But let's just go ahead, let's just rebuild that with Mast, all right? Um, again, refer to the documents for all the kind of utility classes that already exist and everything. I'm just gonna kind of go through this real quick using keyboard shortcuts and whatnot. So I'm just gonna search for an actual Webflow native section and give it a class of section here, which is this ex existing class is a class in MAST. If we go over to settings, we see it's got the section tag in there and everything. So section in MAST, your sections already have the vertical padding in them. Um, and I see like, let's say on this Rhythm component, they have a padding section large seven rem. So let's say, okay, I'm gonna change all my I'm gonna change all mine to match that seven rem. All right, so inside of that, I'm gonna place a div. I'm gonna give it the, um, a class of container, which is an existing utility class inside of MAST. Uh, this container is gonna be 90% width, 90 rem. Obviously you can change it to whatever you need. The container class on this Rhythm is 80, so I'm not gonna really change anything. You get it, you can, you can change this container class to be whatever you want, all right? So inside this container now, we're gonna put this this kind of column layout system. 
And in math, this all starts with, we're gonna drop a div in and we're gonna give it a class of row. So now this row is going to actually hold our column. So at this point, we can put as many columns as we want inside of here. So, and to match this regular one up top, obviously we got two columns, right? So I'm just gonna drop another div in. I'm gonna give it a class of column. And if you can kind of see here, that one column is just gonna take up the entire row because it's just taking up the space available. So if I just go ahead and duplicate that column, I now have two columns in my inside my row, right? So let's go to this first column. Let's add a heading. And we can go ahead and just copy that wonderfully SEO'd heading there. And now I'm just gonna drop a paragraph. And now I'm gonna put a button and just give it a class of button. And there we go. There's the left side column. Other side, let me drop a div in and I'm just gonna give it a, a utility class in Webflow. Actually, my, I don't know if this might be, uh, let's see what it is, it's you. It's probably actually an existing class from Rayloom, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So you aspect uh, one by one using the, um, oh, it must be from Rayloom. Yeah, so this is, uh, Let's do this. I'm gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna use the new ratio that's in Webflow. Uh, and then inside there, I'll just place an image and I'm gonna give uh, this image a, a utility class of U image cover, which does exist in mass. So it's just going to take that up. And there we go. Uh, minus the container sizes, that's it, right? So let's look over here, this Rayloom component one div, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten divs. Same section rebuilt using mast. One, two, three, four, five. I have six divs. Um, obviously, that's less, right? So it's just much easier. And now I didn't use a single made up class. Everything here is a class that exists in mass already and i'm just using those kind of utility kind of classes whereas if i want to reuse this rayloom component obviously you know it's it has a class name on it but you either have to rename it into a way that i know i'm going to reuse across the site but what happens if you know i want to take this header component and i want to I want to change it up like this grid is one friend or one fractional unit each. What if I want to, you know, change the size in or what? Well, I got to use combo classes, add more classes to my project versus uh, in mass here. So actually, let's look at this first. So obviously, looking at my mass build here, it's not responsive, right? Only when it gets down to to um, the mobile landscape here, because that column is just gonna take up the space. But let's say uh, like the Rayloom component here, it just goes to vertically stacked right away on, on landscape, or I'm oh, sorry, on, on tablet. So what I do, I'll come back to this masked component here. I'm gonna go into the style selector and you're gonna kind of see some existing combo classes, but in mass, um, we can, break down what we want it to look like per breakpoint right from here, right from the desktop. So I can make this whole thing responsive without even having to check the other responsive screens. But so for example, column large six. So I'm telling it, I want this column to take up six of the available 12 columns in that row on large screens. So large is desktop, medium is tablet, small is uh, mobile landscape, and extra small, I believe it is, is mobile portrait in mass. Um, 
right now actually making this column large six is kind of redundant because it's already doing that. So let's say I want to change it to column medium on tablet. I want it to take up the whole row. So I want it to take up all 12 columns. So I'm going to hit column medium 12. I'm going to add that combo class on top of my column class, right? So now if I go to tablet, that column is now taking up all 12 of the available columns inside of this row. And then the other column is just set to take up 100% of its space by default. So I didn't even have to touch that. And now we have fully responsive by just adding one extra little combo class that exists in this framework on there. So it's just a really quick way of um, organizing stuff. So let's say, hey, I want to take this group or text or this column here, and I want everything to be, um, I want it to be aligned center. So we're gonna go onto that row class, go into the selector field and row align center. That just adds it like there. We can change it, you know, we want to align end or so, so, so and so forth there. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's say we want, I want this column on the desktop. I want it to take up, I don't know, we want it to take up eight. So now I'm picking up eight of the columns inside of this row class. And this other column there is now just fitting in where it needs to, because I haven't told it what else to do. So it's just gonna kind of keep shrinking like that, right? Same thing going here, I haven't told it. So if I go on, I'm on the medium breakpoint here, tablet breakpoint. If I add this column medium 12, right away it adjusts there. So you have all these kind of different um, classes to put on top of the column system. So let's say column small for some reason, I want to go, I don't know, I'm gonna go to six. That's silly, we wouldn't do that, but there you go. Um, super easy way to organize your structures and you can do it all right here as I'm building it. I could give it my responsive uh, natures without having to click in here and okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna come in and this component, I'm gonna open the grid, I'm gonna adjust these. Uh, everything out of the box is ready to go. Um, so very simple, just example comparison to using something like Rayloom. Um, I think one other thing just to point out is, you know, in Rayloom, you're either using these spacing divs or you're doing like um, uh, margin bottom and then you're doing margin small as a combo class on top of that to get your break your spacing here. Whereas in mass, we're using M's as our spacings are ready. So I think they do a good job of mass explaining it in the documents, but having the spacing attached to these headings and paragraphs are ready kind of just gives a uniform uniformity across your builds. Um, which I think is just really nice. You just set it that one time and forget it. Uh, but the good thing about, nice thing about mass too is like, yeah, not the 80, 20 rule, not everything's going to fit inside of what mass already contains. So let's say, you know, I have my column structure here, but now I want to add a div inside because I want to do some custom things. So let me put everything in this div block, maybe there we go. Let's say, I don't know, we have, we have a special spacing we want for this home hero or something. We can still call it home card or whatever. And now we can go ahead and add whatever we want. Let's say we want like, we, oops, sorry. So now we want like, not now, <laughs> now we want padding inside there. So we have a, we have this custom class here now we can use where we want. So. I feel, you know, I think some people think the mass with mass, you're restricted to only what's there. Like you could still use your own classes. I've even like, I'll still cheat and 
take random components and dump them into the mass layout just to, you know, maybe I don't want to build accordion all the way over, or uh, I don't really want to build the entire nav bar. Raylum's got great options to do that. So I'll copy paste that into my mass project and that's totally fine. You, you could do what you want with it. And there's, you're not restricted by, by your ideas and, and your talents. So hopefully this is, a somewhat educational video and shows you a little comparison here about, uh, you know, how, how this works. Um, I'd love to hear, are, are you using mast? How, what do you think? What are your issues with it? What are you having troubles with? Um, I'd love to make a video maybe soon, just kind of building a simple layout or maybe even do you have other layouts maybe you'd like to see built out, but, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I hope you all have a great day and